Hey people, it is Tuesday, August the 31st, and it is 12.36 in the afternoon, and I'm here at the corner of Queens Park and Charles Street West, and looking at the decommissioned McLaughlin Planetarium, which is slated to be demolished in the, in the near future, unfortunately, for a new University of Toronto building. But speaking of the University of Toronto, I'm going to be walking through this eastern extension of the campus, down various pathways, which I've never really walked before, and hoping that I don't get lost, because I really don't know my way around this <laughs> part of the campus as much as I do the more westerly portion which is the main St. George campus that I've done tours through on a few occasions. So I'm just going to look for the first available pathway off of Charles Street heading into the campus. This is a contender, although I'm not sure if this is a path or just a parking area. Well, let's take it. Let's go for it. And here is the Isabel Bader Theater. As you can see, there is some directions here. Okay, apparently I can get to some various other areas of the campus through this way. Now this is a very beautiful old campus dating back to the 19th century, and many of the buildings date from that era. Of course, many new modern additions have been added. So it's quite the mix of old and new. And that's looking towards Bloor Yorkville. This is Victoria College, or is it Victoria University? In any case, they're all under the umbrella of the University of Toronto. I'm not sure how far I'll get taking these various pathways. At some point I'll probably spit back out onto a major street, Northrop Fry Hall. And wow, this is quite the impressive building from this side. The truth shall make you free. I've always heard that as the truth shall set you free, but I guess it works either way. Now I know if I walk through that tunnel up ahead, it will go back out into the street towards Bay Street up ahead. So maybe I won't go that way. As cool as, as it is to walk through those old tunnels, we'll just watch this guy ride his bike through. We'll continue going this way. Now, right here is Queen's Park Crescent. So I don't want to really walk along there for any length of time, but I will take the first available pathway heading eastward. I just finished a video prior to this one where I did walk along this stretch of Queen's Park Crescent. 
kind of looking into the campus as I walked by, and I thought, that's an idea for another video. Let me go wander through this part of the campus. I always like to try and knock off two or three videos in one go, if I can. Sometimes my camera does not allow me to, <laughs> but right now I have plenty of battery power left, so I don't think it's a problem. So this will be my first time exploring some of these areas. I have walked through certain sections before, but I've never thoroughly explored it. I always tend to revert back to one of the main streets instead of trying every pathway. I always love the look of old university buildings covered with ivy. Of course, this campus does stand in in many movies for places like Harvard or other Ivy League colleges in the United States. It has the same, the right look and feel. And it probably is the most highly regarded university in Canada with the highest ranking in world universities, often ranking in the top 25 universities in the world. And see, here's a street. So I'm going to try not to walk on this street. I'm just going to see if there's more pathways over here. So this is St. Joseph Street. And that leads back to Bay Street. And this just looks like an old residential stretch here. Carr Hall, Elmsley Hall. Not sure how many of these old homes are being used as homes or being used as university buildings. Brennan Hall. Now I know I'm going to end up back out on Bay Street if I go this way, but I'm just curious to see. I didn't plan out this walk, obviously, so I'm sure there's a way I could just continuously walk through various paths without having to 
backtrack, but I'm kind of just doing a video flying by the seat of my pants, as I do many of my videos. So we're going to go back this way again. We'll just get a new perspective. Kicked an acorn <laughs> and it went flying. Well, I really like this shady stretch here, that's for sure. Basilian Fathers. So it seems like most of these old homes are not really being used as homes. Would be massive houses though, which I'm sure they once were. Oh, there's a path leading up. I think that just goes right back out to the area I was just looking at. All right, we're going across the street and see what's on this side. One of the many library buildings on campus. Of course, the big one is the Robarts Library, which is in the main western portion portion of the campus. The one that looks like a giant turkey. And some unusual artwork. I don't know if this is a dead end or not. You just never know until you come and take a look, right? Now we're finding some of the least picturesque parts of this end of the campus. Yeah, I guess people got to park somewhere. Oh, but I have found a fire escape. All right, I guess I'm heading back out to Queen's Park Crescent. I know there are more pathways leading off, though, further down. I just thought I could maybe get to them without having to walk along the street. And perhaps I can, but I just don't know how. There's Queen's Park across the street. This is Wellesley Street. So maybe I've run out of pathways. I wanted to sort of get lost in there if I could. That was sort of the plan. To just keep 
finding various pathways and connecting to other pathways. But maybe I can head back in. At least this walk is something I've never done before. It doesn't look like I'll be able to head back into the campus from here. There are campus buildings along the street here, but I don't see any more pathways. Kind of getting into the more built up part of the city now. Or part of built up part of downtown, I guess you could say. Now, what is up here? I think this is just for this apartment building. So you're just basically following me along as I wander aimlessly, not too sure where I'm going. Hey, that can be fun sometimes, I hope. <laughs> looking north up Bay Street. I know I can get back into the campus up there, but it'll take me back into the area that I was just in. So I don't see really the, the point of going back that way. So I guess that's it for my little exploration of that part of the campus. I'm sure there's some areas I missed. But I did see some Areas I've never seen before, which was sort of the plan. I'm gonna have to cross to the other side here because they've dug a huge chunk out of the street. So I suppose I'll just continue on, just walking along this stretch of Wellesley Street for a little ways, just to bring this video to a more respectable length. Call it half campus walk, half city walk. There's a look down south towards the financial district.
here's the site of a new city park. Still under development. It was part of this condo project. So it's much needed in this particular part of downtown. Of course, Queens Park is just up that way a little ways, but there are plenty of residents in this immediate area who would probably appreciate having a little bit more greenery readily accessible to them. And it looks like this alleyway that I've walked along in several of the videos is blocked off for a new development. Coming up to Young Street. And there's a look north. South. There's Wellesley Subway Station, which is a very nondescript looking structure. Why don't they put some paint on there, give it some color or something, you know? Get some nice murals or something. We are coming into the Church Wellesley Village. The Fox and the Fiddle. Well, I always thought this was funny how you can see right into these dentist offices and see people getting work done. All, all on display for everyone to see. <laughs> I think that dentist is looking at me. <laughs> what do you expect? <laughs> okay. You can't really be surprised that people would look.
here we are at Church in Wellesley. This is the heart of the gay village. I've heard horror stories about this apartment building. I don't know if that's still the case, but at one time it was a very troubled building to live in. Perhaps that's no longer the case, hopefully. This is lovely. It's Jarvis Street. I've been avoiding Jarvis Street for the last month or so because of that construction.
here's Homewood Avenue, which runs south to Allen Gardens. So I think this is where I'm going to wrap up the video as I turn southward here. Start making my way home bound on Homewood. So I hope you enjoyed the walk through the easternmost part of the U of T campus trying to find some interesting pathways and only being partially successful. But I hope you enjoyed that little wander through the campus. And if you did, leave a comment below and then continuing along Wellesley Street from Bay Street all the way down here to Homewood Avenue. So if you enjoyed this, like and share and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you'd like to support the channel, there are links in the description where you can do so via PayPal and via my new merch store. And you can also find me on Instagram under K Continuum. So thanks for watching, and be sure to keep checking back because, as always, I will continue.